Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Chances are, you probably heard about the rainbow fish. On Spectrum News, I have a series called Curtain Up with Catherine, and it gives a behind the scenes look at the arts. I'm partnering with Shay's Performing Arts Center, and if you've never heard of Shay's, you're missing out because people from around the world visit Buffalo just to come to Shays. The architecture dates back to 1926, and the performances are known as being top rung. This is my fourth story in the series. I did one on the restoration, the renovation, an inside look at the production of Les Mis, and now I'm focusing on arts education with children. Well, it definitely feels like winter weather out here, but you never would have guessed that right from my Eskimo look. I'm going to get my equipment and then head inside. It should be nice and warm and I'll show you what it takes to set up. Whenever reporting at an event, I try to arrive early and conduct as many interviews as possible beforehand. Since I film most of my stories and I can't clone myself by being in front of and behind the camera at the same time, I usually ask someone to stand in my place while I frame up and focus the shot, and then I stand in. Shay's education outreach is unique because of its goal to not only introduce children to the arts, but to promote inclusion. For this story, since I was able to interview people from different countries, I contacted the International Institute of Buffalo asking for statistics about different languages spoken in the area. We are fortunate to have a diverse community and residents who promote unity. I'm back at the station now. The process for getting my story on air is first I write the script, then I have to get it approved by one of the managers, then I edit it and put in any name graphics, and then it's ready to air. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Chances are, you probably heard about the rainbow fish. My favorite part of the book is when he shares his scales. I think it was pretty good. I just like the pretty stuff in the book. On Sunday afternoon, the Mermaid Theater of Nova Scotia will perform a stage adaptation at Shays of the Rainbow Fish. Leading up to this production, Shays has been educating children in Western New York about the arts. This is through events like a free reading of the book at the Buffalo and Erie County Central Library in English. Rainbow Fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. In Spanish. Bes arcoiris, bes arcoiris. Le llamo. And in French. Un poisson qui vive loin, très loin. These readings are more than just a chance for children to have fun. They promote inclusion. One of the themes that we love about the rainbow fish is this notion of sharing. The beautiful fish shares its scales, and so we're expanding that to the idea of sharing culture. According to the city of Buffalo, between 2006 and 2013, the foreign-born population here increased by 95%. And in 2016, Buffalo Public Schools were educating more than 4,000 English language learners. Shays is such a well-known landmark downtown and we are happy to be able to go out now and reach more communities. Families from various countries came together to hear readings of the rainbow fish, including one who just moved to Buffalo three years ago from Somalia. Seven-year-old Shasma Saeed says that she likes the book. Though these children are from different places and speak different languages, through the sharing message in the Rainbow Fish, in Shay's outreach, they are coming together as one community in Buffalo. Catherine Chloe Cahoon, Spectrum News.